Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to play After You by Kanye West. So I'm going to first start off by showing you the six chords that loop throughout the whole song and then I'm going to do a tutorial on the cover that I did on my channel. So the chords that I'm going to play and that are looped throughout the whole song are F sharp major which are these three, then we go to A flat minor, and then we go to B major. Then we go back to A flat minor. Then we go to C suspended four, and then back to F sharp major. So I'm gonna play it slowly once again, so you can follow along with me. So those are the six chords that loop throughout the whole song. Next up, I'm gonna show you what the melody is, which also loops throughout the whole song. So the melody goes like this. I'm gonna play it slowly first, and then I'm gonna play it at a normal tempo. Now at a normal pace tempo. Alright, so that's basically uh, the whole song. If you play these two together, it sounds something like this. And once again, I'm going to play it slowly first and then at a normal tempo for you to see how it sounds. And then a normal tempo. Okay, so next up is a tutorial on how I played my version of the song, which is basically the same, but it's just a modification of the chords and the melody. So in the beginning, I just go and play the chords and the melody which I showed you uh, in the first part of this video and it goes like this then after that I play the D sharp repeatedly so uh, as a preparation for the next uh, chord progression so it goes So after playing these two uh, sets of chords, I play this as a preparation for the middle part. So from the start it sounds like this. Okay, for the next part of uh, this tutorial, uh, it's going to be a bit more complex and I'll show you how I did it. So first I'm going to show you how it sounds and next up I'm going to play the left hand and the right hand slowly so you can follow along with me and learn. So it goes like this.
So for this bit, uh, the left hand, what you get to do is, what I do is I play the root notes of each chord and then uh, I use it like in two different octaves. So for the first chord is F sharp, which is this. I just do the two root, the first root note and one octave lower as well. So this one and this one. And then uh, I play the root notes. Then I play the chord along with the root note on top, which is this one. So so uh, I do that basically with every chord, except for the third chord and the sixth chord. Um, I do a little modification, which I will go through in a minute. So the first chord with a F sharp major, which you play like. Then you go to A flat minor, which is the two root notes and the chord along with the root on top. So then we go to B major, which is this one. And this is the third chord, and it takes a little uh, more time than the other chords, so I just go up another octave to fill up the space in between so it sounds like and this is basically the same as the B major chord along with the root note on top so the two root notes then we go back to the A flat minor and then to the C suspended 4 which is the chord along with this uh, root note on top and then back to the F sharp major but because this F sharp major the sixth one also needs a little more time I do the same thing as I did with the B major but then with the F sharp major which goes and then the chord progression repeats so from the beginning slowly it goes So that's basically the left hand. For the melody, you just do the same melody in the beginning, except you add another octave to it. So if this was the melody, you just do it with uh, the root or the same note, but an octave lower. So. repeatedly so that's basically it for the middle part and I'm gonna play them slowly together so you can kind of follow with me and see what I'm doing So for the last part, I uh, do a little different thing than the others. So I play this one, this one, and this one. So I play the root note of the F sharp major along with the middle, the middle note. I don't know how you call this, but it's this one. So and for the right hand, I just finish the F sharp major chord. So this is the F sharp major chord, and I just finish it with my thumb and my index. So. And then I do the same thing for the A flat minor. So I go the root note of the A flat minor along with the middle note, which is this one. And then finish it with my right hand. And then the same thing for the B major. 
so I just do the B major chord and then my index and my uh, middle finger and after this I um, when doing the B major chord I, add, I added this to it as like a little filler so so this bit from the start it sounds Then I go to the A flat minor again. Then the C suspended four, which is these as a root notes, and this one. And then I uh, fill it up with my index and my middle. And then back to the F sharp major. So this outro, I do it once again. Then after this, I go to the chords and the melody once again, but on the lower scale, so just the F sharp major and the melody. Then at the ending, I start slowing it down a little bit more, so it sounds a little more beautiful. At least it sounded better to me, so that's why. So. For the outro, just the last last bit, I go and play this one, this one, and this one. So the same thing that we did here, but then another octave lower. So and then fill it up with my right hand. So, but after this, you go to the F sharp major chord uh, on the whole board. So it goes. So once again, okay, so that's the end for this tutorial. Please let me know if there's anything else that you need or you don't understand about this tutorial because it's my first time making a tutorial and I do not have much music knowledge. I just wanted to help you guys learn this song and just please please let me know in the comments what else you need to know